In this video, we are going to talk about how to install PyCharm 2022 for Python on Windows. So please stay tuned. So first of all, you should go to google.com and then you should simply type download PyCharm and you should press enter. And now you can see the first link is from JetBrains company. So you should click on it. So as you can see, the Python has two versions. The first one is the professional version, which is not free, and also the community version, which is free. So we want to install the community version. So we should click on this, and you shouldn't do anything, and you should wait for the download prompt. And now I should choose a path in order to download this file. So now you can see it has been downloaded. And here, if you have a 32-bit Windows, you cannot install this version. You should install other versions. So you should click on other versions. And here, the latest version, which you can install, is 2018.3. So remember that the latest version, which you can install, is this version. And also, beside the PyCharm, we need to install Python as well. So first of all, you should go to python.org, which is the official website of Python. So you should go to python.org. And here you should click on Downloads. And you should scroll down. And now you can see by the time of recording, the latest version is Python 3.10.6. So I want to install that. So I click on it. And now I should scroll down. And you can see here are the files. So I have a 64-bit Windows, so I click on this. And I should choose a path in order to download the file. And now we can see the download process has been finished. So as you can see, here are the files which we have downloaded. So first of all, we need to install Python, and then we are going to install PyCharm. So I right-click on the Python file, and I should run that as administrator. And here, remember that you should check this one at Python 3.10 to path. And then I want to customize the installation. So I click on this. And here I press next. And here is a very important step because we need the install location in PyCharm. So you should choose a proper install location. So for example, suppose that I want to install my Python in this location. So remember that this is a very important step because we need this location. And you should press install. And now you should wait for the installation process. So now you can see the setup was successful, so I close this. So now it's time to install PyCharm, so I right click on it. And then I want to run that as administrator. Here I should press next, and here I should press next, and don't care about the install location, it doesn't matter. The install location of Python matters because in that place, we have a file called Python Interpreter, but the install location of PyCharm is not very important, so I click on Next. And in this step, I don't want to check none of these, but if you want to, for example, create desktop icon, you can check this, and also if you want to uh, open all the Python files with PyCharm, you can also check this one, but I don't want to check none of these. So I press Next and I should press the install button and I should wait for the installation process. So as you can see, the installation was successful, so I want to run PyCharm, so I check this and I press the finish button. And because I don't want to import anything, so I choose this and I press OK. And here I want to create a new project, so I click on this icon. So here, this is the name of our project. So you can choose whatever you want. But for example, I want to choose, for example, let's say YouTube. So this is the name of my project. And this is the location of my project. And now we want to add the Python interpreter. So here we should choose new environment using virtual environment. And I don't change this, but I want to change this. So you should click on this. And as you remember, I have installed PyCharm in C, Users, Kulak, and in a folder called Python. And also in another folder called Python 3.10.6. And here we can see a python.exe file, but we don't want this file. Again, you should go to the scripts folder. And here we can find another python.exe, which is the file which we needed. So this is the Python interpreter. So remember that you should choose the python.exe file, which is in the scripts folder. So you should click that and you should press OK. 
And here, because we do not want to create welcome script and etc., so we uncheck this and we press the create button. And now let's maximize the pie charm and let's close this. And now we can see it says Windows Defender might impact performance and it asks us to exclude directories. So if you want to do so, you can click on this. And because you want to do it automatically, we click on configure automatically. And we should wait for these processes. And while PyCharm is doing these stuff, so let's talk about a couple of things. So first of all, let's talk about how we can change the theme of PyCharm. In order to do so, you should go to File, then Settings. And here you can go to, let's close all of these. So first of all, you should go to Appearance and Behavior. And for example, you can click on this arrow. And now you can see we have a section called Appearance. And you want, for example, to change the theme to Windows 10 Lite, that's it, and press OK. And you can see the theme has been changed. And also, if you want to restore that, you can do the same, File Settings, and you can change the theme to this. So press OK. And also, remember that you can close this panel, this sidebar panel. So you can click on this, you can see it has been closed. And if you click on it again, you can see it has been opened. That's it. And now let's talk about how we can create a Python file. In order to do so, you should right-click on this folder, which is the name of your project. So you should right-click on it, and then you should go to New and Python File. And for example, I want to change a name for it, for example, Code01, and I should press Enter. And you can see here is the Python file, which we have created. So let's type something. So for example, I want to print, for example, 5 times 8. And in order to run this code, I should right-click in the middle of the editor, so I click on run code 01 and code 01 is the name of our code as you can see so run code 01 so you can see here is the output but as you can see the font is very small so let's make it a little bit bigger so we go to file then settings and here let's close all of these and then we go to editor so let's click on this arrow and here we should go to font and here, for example, let's change the font size to 29, and we press OK. And as you can see, the font has been changed, and now it's a little bit bigger. And also, if you want to be able to change the font size using the Control plus mouse wheel, you can go to File, then Settings, and here simply search for Wheel. And now we can see the first option is Change Font Size with Control plus mouse wheel. So I check this, and I press OK. And now we can see I can change the font size using Control plus mouse wheel. So let's close this RON tab. And as you can see, PyCharm has different tabs. And one of them is the RON tab, which you can see the result in this RON tab. So let's minimize this. And also let's create another Python code. So in order to do so, again, I should right click on this new Python file. And for example, suppose that I want to name it temp, so that's it. You can see here we have a file called temp.py. And for example, here I want to print another thing. For example, I want to print hello. So in order to run this, I right click in the middle of the editor and I press this. And you can see here is uh, the output. And also remember that you can run the codes from this icon. But remember that when you press this, it is going to run whatever code is in this place so for example now you can see that it is temp so if i press this it is going to run temp.py but for example if it was on code 01 and if i press this run button it is going to run code 01 so you can see code 01 is printing 5 times 8 which is this now maybe you ask where are these files i mean maybe you ask where are these python files how can we access to these python files in order to do so again you should right click on this folder i mean your project and you want to open that in explorer and now a window like this will be opened so the name of your project is youtube so you should open the youtube folder i mean the name of your project so you should double click on it in order to open it and now we can see these are the files which we have created so that's it. Let's close this and let's close the PyCharm and let's open it again because I'm going to talk about another thing. So let's open it. So let's close this. And as you can see in the second run, it shows you some tips. 
And if you want to tell PyCharm that it shouldn't show you these tips anymore, you should click on Don't Show Tips and press Close. So it is not going to show these tips anymore. But now let's talk about how we can install a package in PyCharm. So for example, suppose that I want to install NumPy in PyCharm. So as you can see, PyCharm has a tab called Terminal. So you should click on it in order to open the terminal. So as you can see, I didn't encounter with any warning when opening the terminal. But if you have encountered with a warning like this, then you can watch the video, which the link is in the description below. And here, in order to install the NumPy, you should simply type pip install NumPy. And this is the name of package. So you simply type pip install and the name of package. So in this example, the name of package is NumPy. So that's it. I press enter. And remember that you should have internet connection. So first of all, it is going to download NumPy. And then it is going to install that as well. So we can see the installation was successful and it has successfully installed NumPy. So let's verify that. So in order to do so, let's import the NumPy package. But first of all, we should wait for these processes. So now we can see it has been finished. So let's import the NumPy package. There it is. So let's import NumPy as np and then we simply want to use something so we want to create an array np.array one two three and let's sort that in a variable let's say called x and now if i print uh, the x variable and if i run a code you can see it is working properly and it shows that the numpy package has been installed correctly now i really suggest you to watch this video which is on the screen now